I want nothing to do with men. I saw the worst Flames. I could with my own family situation in a man that you would have thought, okay, you will protect and, you know, and all that. Ah, I was like, mm-hmm. I get again. And I don't know, God softened my heart for him. Welcome to Unlock with Tando Maumela, a podcast where positivity and open-mindedness are embraced. We are set to discuss various topics aiming to build, challenge mindsets and societal norms, question mediocrity and uplift spirits. If anything, expect a mind-blowing podcast hosted by your very own sister coach, a.k.a. Sheila Tando Kamaumera, the Kingdom Diva Danko. Welcome to Unlock with Tando Maumela. And today we are seeing another lady, a dynamic one with, I'll say, multifaceted in different formats. She'll introduce herself. Number one, let's subscribe, let's like, let's share. Everything else you will enjoy here. Do the right thing. Do. Liskaba Limona. Tato. Tato. Akani. Makubed. Yes, madam. Welcome. Thank you so much for. Accepting my invitation. Thank you. Tato, could you introduce my viewers who you are? Ooh, that's a complex one. I'm Tato, as you said. Um, Kobo Hadimba Kabam Palibitola Akani. I'm all. I'm a lady all the way from Free State. Go welcome Tabo. And yeah, by the grace of God, here I am in Joburg. I'm an actress a musician, a songwriter, a worship leader at my church. I'm King Happy. I'm a mom, I'm a wife. <laughs> I'm a best friend to others. I'm a sister. A what? Businesswoman. Businesswoman, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm a businesswoman. Um, I can also say, what else am I? Yeah, that's that's generally who I am. Or fabulous like that. Your all the colors. Or fabulous on. like that, and I think it's it's heartwarming mm. to find a person of your personality. Not everyone would be like you. Not everyone would also accept a personality like yourself. Mm. But listen, Rona, we are here for it. Thank you. We are here for it, and my main discussion with you is around how far you've gone in life and the things you've endured in life mm. based on your own life's testimonies. You know, someone is sitting out there and they're thinking, mm. and they're thinking, mm. they're thinking, mm. um, what is it that I need to do for me to get into a level where I trust Modimuka, the process, mm. and trust Jehovah for you know, my journey as it is, and understand that once he opens doors for me, he will open them decisively and intentionally so. Mm. So my interest in you is the, is the effect that oh, oh, artist in song and an artist in, uh, uh, let me just say, an artist is all rounder usually. Mm. Um, and whenever you happen to be gifted in both, you know, in, in song and praising God and also in entertaining mm. us as people, mm. your journey... Tato hulela hulela welcome, but what was the upbringing? Really? My upbringing, it was two different worlds. Okay. Ne? So in the first part, I'll say, uh, born from a mother who's a teacher and a father who's a pastor, but now they're separated. Okay. So, okay, cool. Born in that space, Moba Kalambu Pilu. Yeah. one bedroom house and I'm the first born so obviously everything was trial and error yeah <laughs> so everything was we'll just see by the grace of God um to the point where my parents they accumulated what they did and then from there it's where now we are moving from this one room into uh, the affluent Nyana side of the township. Then from there, I was also doing a you are like, you've made it. In those days, she's a man. <laughs> now you're the chief girl. Um, and then from there, that's when Mutakia and Abudimal schools, mm-hmm. uh, being one of the first few black people in the school I was in, 
Then from there, where it's like, okay, I don't know. The, is it, I think it's the will of God because it's like a kitanto. Then it happened that my parents separated, and then the reality went back yeah. to step one, more thing basically. Um, so that's why it's like in two phases. There was the success, grow, 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 and then there was the okay. Now we are, we are humbled <laughs> into life, and from then. I would say then my actual life started. Because okay. I was young. Um, I, I do remember a lot um, of struggle, even though we were in town. Mm. But you know, they come. Or come a in church. Or one of them. But more. Because I the other kids, they have more than me. But we are in the same hood. But you can see the difference, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, and then it happened. Okay, life happened. And my parents separated. And it happened in that separation. My mother basically lost everything. Yeah. So from that, instantly a teacher, but living to pay loans, living to pay lawyers and mm. all of that. So then we started from scratch, having nothing from then. So in the separation, obviously, Mama got the, custod- the custodianship for yes. Mana as yes. well. So, so, means, yeah. <clears throat> so it's the three of us. I'm the first born, then it's my sister, Tiamo, and then my brother, Jos. Okay. So we then ultimately stayed the mama. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then from there, yeah, hey, Karen. How was the <laughs> so it was rough. Oh, yeah, for all of you, was it rough? It was rough because, number one, we are pastor's kids. Mm. The church was growing immensely. It was a huge church. In uh, that thing, okay, okay. You look like you have it all, but then do you really, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it happened, okay, when the divorce happens, you know, like when parents go through a divorce, mm-hmm. they even forget at times, if mm-hmm. I can put it like that. No, okay. pay Nikki, pay Nikki. Hey, so in that process, they ended up and then losing things because now we have to share. I want my share. I want to go mm. and start my life again. Cool. Then uh, my mom was like, you know what? We'll start again. Fine. We'll start with nothing. And that transition, it was hard for me. But I think because of my character and the way I connect with people, it wasn't a matter of embarrassment. A lot. Not a bad. Let me say I can accept okay. very easily. Mm-hmm. If something has changed, I'm able to adapt. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Is that where we are? Mm-hmm. Oh, how sharp? Then I adapt very quickly. So I wasn't I wasn't now I don't have. Yes, it was painful, but it wasn't the thing it changed my life. What changed was now I had to mature very quickly. Mm. I had to now, even though now I had to be my mom's counselor, yeah, like my sister's parents, you know, I had to be that the deputy <laughs> in yeah. the whole sense yeah. of it. So I had to adapt to that. And even when we were homeless and we didn't have a home, I never felt a sense of embarrassment. I don't know why. I think it was God. Maybe some things off it out on and you're like, yo, is this the reality? Mm-hmm. It can even break you and you who So it was just that weird transition to say, okay, now I'm no more that girl that that stays got you know, that had, seems to have everything. The pastor's child. Ah yeah, change. But in that still I'm grateful for it. Yeah. So now, fast forward, Tato grows up, goes to high school, mm. and what happens? I go to high school, and during high school, that's when now I'm going through that transition of homelessness okay. with my mom and my siblings. Okay, so right? were you able now to transition from high school to varsity immediately? Uh, no, let me put it like this. Okay. I went to high school, then from high school... Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Okay. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Great. I always knew I wanted to do acting and singing, but in Velcom, there was no such a thing. Yeah. Like, there was no... Oh, an actress, you... No. 
Then I spoke to my mom, Gary, hey, let me go to, there's a university back home. Even when I wanted to leave Valcom, and then she was like, no, 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 I think because she still needed me yeah. in that journey. Then she was like, ah, I don't know, young. Then, okay, we made a plan, we could go the university back home. Did that for a year. Didn't love it. Hated it. Like, every day just felt like forcing yourself out of Journey. bed, you know, to go somewhere. Um, and, yeah, that's how I went. And then it happened, okay, okay things change in life. And then I decided to drop out okay. from there. Yeah. While I was in the process, maybe in the second year, where yeah. I was like, yeah, for the more, yeah. can we the mom? What, what had you registered for? Marketing. Okay. Back then, it was the bus, um, <laughs> bus yeah, course. It used to be Bo HR. You, yeah. uh, back then, it was the thing, you're, okay, this is the thing I'm going to do. There's nothing else in Karin. It works to my strengths. So it was that. So I did that and... Okay, so now you move to, how did you move to Joburg? How did you get into the space of acting? I moved, funny enough, I wasn't supposed to move to Joburg. Okay. So my younger sister was the one, now she's finishing um, matric, and my mom is like, okay, go study with UJ, because you're good at accounting and you're good at mm. numbers. I'm not good at numbers, I'm, I'm horrible at numbers. Together. <laughs> Don't ask me about Together numbers. we are one. Yo, so, okay, fine. Then my sister, because we both sing, like, we both, like, very... Here's Suarike Rua Musical. My okay. younger brother plays instruments. He's amazing. Bass, keyboard, drums, he plays all of them. You should have brought him here. no day one. Okay, he'll come one day, and then my sister sings also. Okay. So then my sister, she got a king. You go school and pamphlet, or, hey, you can go study this, go study this for different universities. Then she was like, mm-mm, uh, I'm changing. I don't want to do accounting. I want to go study television production. So basically yeah. this, she wants to study this. And then when she came, she came with that pamphlet, and my mom was like, hey, boy, girl, why change this thing? She was like, yeah, yeah, why not? And then we looked through it, and I'm like, oh, they have music. I'm like, oh, they have acting at the school. It's the first time I'm hearing about the school back then. I'm like, yo, 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 but the fees. You're crazy. <laughs> the fees. What's that king? And that day, I was like, I don't know. And I tell my mom I'm interested in this. Because I'm at home. You plan it. 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 You plan Then my sister's busy showing me this. And I was like, oh, this looks amazing. But can I? You know? Because it was about her, not about me. Yeah. We show her, we show her. Hey, my mom is a woman of faith. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> I don't know. But she was like, cool, let's find out what you need to do when we get there. And that was it. Okay, her kids are going to go back. They're going to after. And by the grace of God, I think so you completed go 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 after. You enjoyed it. It's something that you wanted to do all along. I loved it. Yeah. I I not the not the Learning parts. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> theater is <laughs> not talent. my thing, but yeah. the school catered for if you're not, Garing, the way they structure the course, it's not academically heavy. Okay. Like, Munna goes of it, more you can see, yay, you study, you for sit, you do and... this, yes. So, man, it catered to, okay, you have like 10% theory, you have to do the 10%, and then 90% 90 you enjoying the craft. Yeah, so it you catered to your strength. Uh -huh. so, it, so mm -hmm. it was bearable. It wasn't the thing, oh, Lord. I struggled, even with the theory, not because I'm slow or something, but I guess if I just struggled. <laughs> <laughs> it struggled. Um, but my sister was there, so the both mm -hmm. of us were in Evda together. Ken Karajal and Rabana, same age, mm -hmm. and I'm older than her. Carried uh, Yeah, so the both of us, where she's weak, I'll help her. Where I'm weak, she'll help me. Nice so that's how we, we managed through after. But there was a time where we didn't have money for fees. And they don't play. They kick you out. Mm -hmm. They block your card. Can't even come in. Can't do anything. We went home and we were like, ah, mama, we're going to kick you out. And by the grace of God, um, the gentleman, I think it's my character also. There's the guy who worked in the student, I can't 
Sfiso. That guy was working with applications for like funding and all of that. And I would always like greet him, Unjani, go and talk to him. Yeah. We were like very close, but respectfully so. Mm -hmm. And then it happened to Rukhutlai, the opportunity for bursaries. And he called us and he was like, hey, here's something for you guys. I know you guys are struggling because um, my mom was struggling with the funds for that school. I don't know how she did it. And then Shab uh, got the bursary and then we were able to go back to school and finish. So so you, your life has been carried by the grace of God, you are saying? From the beginning. So now... Breaking into the space of entertainment mm. for you, how, has it been easy? No. Yo, it hasn't, it's still not easy. Okay. It's still not easy. Um, I'm not where I would like to be because for now it's not a matter of fame. I, I don't really give for fame. I give for being happy in my purpose. Like for me, that's what I want. I want, I must feel, sure. I have a script to learn. I have this, I have to go do this song, I have to go record. Okay, Taba, this, this is my joy. Like, nah. you just, you just That's like, how you got excited. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know where it is, I'll get there. Yeah. So it got there, um, and it was that thing, <sighs> yeah, I've, I've found what I should be doing in different mm. ways, in different mm. ways, because... Beyond that, I'm also an employee to a company that deals with youth development training. So that's also like part of something that I love because from back home, we had a, a youth club. My mom is really big with NGOs and mm -hmm. NPOs and all of that. Like, yeah. weekends, we are serving we have to the be community. Serving. We are not for us, we are serving. So my job now also does that. I'm okay. dealing with young people, we're training them, we're upskilling them. So it adds joy. Like it adds my nine to five. It's as if God would see glory. I, I need this acting and then I need the proper job. Not the mm. not that this is not proper, but I need a stable job. But that still speaks to who, who I are. am. Uh, in essence, who I am. Okay. So you you meet your husband? Hey, my babe. When, how? <laughs> In the midst of you trying to break into this, you meet this man. Yeah. This man is stable. <laughs> Do you understand? This man is, like you're saying, he studied at Vets and... He's like... Yeah. He's how, got his life in order. Exactly. Mm. How was that for you? It was... Where did you meet Bill? We met while I was studying. Okay. So, first day, you learn to feed okay, now I don't have my mom here. I don't have to be a church girl. You know that thing, like, oh, I'll be in a place you like, born a new identity, new me. That was me. I was like, shall I get to fail? All the things I couldn't do, I'm going to do them. Ah. God was just like, you're not going to do that. Yeah, you you're going to find, child. you're going to sit here the first Sunday. And you're gonna mm, mm, mm. second Sunday you're gonna mm, mm, mm. third Sunday you're gonna look for a church and yeah. we looked for a church, okay. and when we found my sister actually found that church and it was in the area where we were staying Moneri relating, and then it happened or oh, okay she tells me about the church I think I didn't go with her the first Sunday, then she's like hey there's this church okay okay okay, um it's like a colored denomination church mm -hmm. but it's it's something close to what we used to and I was like oh okay. We go. Here yeah, we go there. You know, this guy. Even in night, I didn't even come and get like, oh, you know. Um, like, yeah, he was my my geeky guy. Like, when I uh, didn't really say, oh, that's my man. I came on. Yeah. Sharp, um, he's busy. Even I busy when it's my brother Kent, brother Kent. I'm like, let me tell you, let's walk. I'm like, oh, there's a frustrator. Let's have a bit of a little bit of a so I was fascinated with the name. And I was like, oh, this name. So every time he would come for offering, now I'm singing for the worship team. Every time they'll call his name or he's doing something, me and my sister will be like, oh, can't, you know, like, because oh. I'm that person. <laughs> and he would blush and smile. So I didn't take it um, like hard. that. Ne? And then it happened when schools were closed for holidays. And then I went home. Kanti guy, but all along he, he couldn't come to me. I don't know why. 
Maybe we nash up a gig or something. Also, personality can be overwhelming for people uh-huh. like Kent. He's uh-huh. very calm. Uh-huh. So I wasn't there. I went home for the holidays. Then Baba would say, hey, where's that lady? Obutza, a friend of his, where's that lady? The one that was singing. So now he's panicked. Tore. Yar, she's gone. I'm never going to see her again. Uh-huh. She just went home for the holidays. Sure, okay, good. I come back. First Sunday, I'm back. A lad. He's like, I'm not going to miss this. He's like, listen, can, I, my, 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 um, yeah. can we talk? Cool. He calls me the next day. I think we spoke. I don't know. We spoke for hours. Done. On the phone. Done. I've known this person. And now I wasn't even looking for something. Like I told myself I'm not going to get married because Why? of... Oh, I once was the there. drama, you know. So when you threw that and you're from a home where it was functional and then all of a sudden it's not functional, it's like okay. it scars you. So it was like, I want nothing to do with men. I saw the worst Flames. I could with my own family situation mm-hmm. in a man that you would have thought, okay, you will protect and, you know, and all that. Ah, I was like, mm-hmm. I could again. And I don't know, God softened my heart for him. Like literally, Nike is interested in and he looked like and he's ready. Mm. And I was just like, you know what? Let's see where it goes. He's always looked like he's ready. Yeah, he's that person. He's always, <laughs> he's always looked like that. Yeah, so he looked like he has his life in order. He has this girl, I have nothing to my name. I'm, I'm not even done studying. Like, I'm not, I'm not even studying what you are studying. Like, I'm studying, you know, most people, they view it as for fun. I know. They, yes. they don't take the art craft Seriously. as serious. Yeah. Yes, they don't. Yeah. And I was like, what is it, Kanna, that it beats on this person? And I've never seen this kind of person interested in me. Mm. And then I was like, okay, let's see where it goes. I went on a date. And Kitsama Nando is a Bram. I can you, is that the only place you know? I'm like, yes, that's the only place I know. And he was like, okay, let's meet there. I feel like At the end, I was listen, um, at the time I was seeing someone, he's like, listen, um, I know you're seeing someone, but I'm not interested in a love triangle. I'm not, I'm not interested in a love triangle. Can you please... Um, decide if you want to be in a relationship with me. I want to be your person. Yeah. And I was just like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? So That's direct. Serious, yeah. <laughs> so direct. And like, I, I'm not here to play. If you're here to play, cool. Let's say goodbye and we'll see each other at church. Ah, Kayare. I like you. I want to see where it goes. Shep. Got home, got phone, uh, the person I was seeing, uh, immediately, like nothing felt as if it was wrong. I was just like, hey, my guy, I'm sorry, but it's over. And Your peace. That was it. Your peace. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah but from there, it just went <laughs> quickly. It's like, okay, we're getting married. And I was just like, I even forgot to give it to I hope those who would be watching this episode, especially those in my circle, yeah. would resonate with my story. So it's not the only story. Who have a similar yeah, I think we just yeah. don't talk about it because about you it. are afraid of people saying uh, when things might not go wrong because I guess there's always room for, for that. You're scared, you know. So it's always the thing you're, you're just you're scared to share because it's going to seem as if you're bragging, number one, because most people don't experience that. You're not bragging. Yesterday I had a, I had a, I had a a recording of an old mom who mm. was talking about uh, lasting love. Mm. There's no, there's no, getting, there's no math to this mm. thing on how you meet mm. your your lifetime partner. Mm. Really. Mm. So there's no breaking. If it, if your story is this way, it cannot be the other way around. Mm. So we differ as as people. I think that's just the thing, and we need to learn it because we've yeah. never seen it before. It's because a lot of people don't believe it happens. Even when I share my story. Like. <laughs> oh, yes. Let me say it yes. like that. Hore, as growing up, you would see a, a functional relationship just in the church as the pastor and the, and the wife. Mm. 
But then you'd find out, like me, you'd find out, oh, hey, 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 actually, this. Mm-hmm. So that would then make you feel, okay, it doesn't exist. Mm. So by the grace of God, here it went. And as it went, for all these years, I, I was so blessed when they did a surprise party for me. And he said it in front of my family, and he's like, my honeymoon phase has never ended with that. And I was like, yo, yes, what's my actually? It feels like now. It always feels like that, like we've just met. And it's something that I do say. I do try and put it out there. Guys, just be serious. Like, Is there anything that you do together as friends and as a couple that keeps on reviving your love? I think sharing our interests, Mm. sharing our interests, because we're two different people, two different. How long have you guys been married now? Yeah, we're going, we're going eight, Eight yeah, eight years. So the thing is with, with him, when you meet him, he's the opposite from me. You would say he's cold. No, same here. Yeah. My husband. Yeah, like, which I love. I love because I love because naturally. Yeah. So it's that thing, the things he loves, I, I, I made sure that I love them. Okay. The thing that bring him peace, I made sure that I'm part of them. Yeah. When I was younger, I was terrified of dogs. My husband loves dogs, purples to be exact, those big ones. Yeah. Met him, I had to get over my fear because this made him happy. As me, the auto, the auto is I can, I can now send the auto. Yes, yeah, we go yeah. out. Yes. He loves traveling. I had mm. to be like, I need to budget. Lynn, I keep a part of this. If he says we're going there, I have to make sure I'm also part of it. I'm being part of what he loves. Lynn, mm. I had to do the same. He had to. I, Hey, I don't like one, two, or three. Mm, watching but, yeah. the show with the theater, now he does it. I don't like shows. I don't know the music shows, but there's some that I'm like, okay, this is yours. This is your, let's go. And then he'll go with me. So I also had to learn what are his limits. What are, and he had to learn what are my limits. Yeah. As much as I love, he loves camping. I don't like camping, but I had to learn to like camping. And he had to accommodate me. Yeah. So when we go camping, he'll get like a nice, those blow-up mattresses because he wants me to be For comfortable. Comfort, yeah. You see, so it's him. like he he meets me where I need him to meet me and I meet him. So it's not just about me and not yeah. just about him. But we ended up being so, the things he loves, I ended up loving them. I love Formula One now. And <laughs> I never knew about Formula One before I met him. <laughs> now I can tell you, Cabo Lewis Hamilton, I can tell you about pit stops, all of that. Because I sat down with him when he was watching and I asked, mm-hmm. what is this? How does it work? Why is this happening? And from there, we ended up now, Formula <laughs> One. Yeah, I wish I could like hip hop, but I. I, I like it, ladies. That tanya ne, find your genre. Yeah. You always find, even if it's not what, like my husband loves hip hop, but the deep one. Exactly. Bo Bo I, I struggle too. Yeah. But on the album, there'll be one song that I like. Like okay. when he's playing those songs, there'll be one song that Claude would play, and I'll and I'll sing it, and I'll make him aware that oh, I like the song. Can we play it again? Mm. You know, mm-hmm. and that brings him that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, like you're getting it, <laughs> even if it's just one song. Yeah. yeah. So, Tato and Worship. Ooh. Yeah, that one. It was a rocky road. Okay. Rocky because... First, before we get to that one, did you forgive your dad? Uh, For me, yes. For myself, yes. Okay. For my peace of mind and okay. my joy. Okay. Because I've heard I Also for your joy. marriage to work. Yes, because now I can't be triggered and I can't mm-hmm. bring what Kent never did to me yeah. and I bring it into here. Did you share with him though? No, he knows. The he knows the journey that I went through. That's a conversation for another day. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one needs two hours podcast. <laughs> 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 but yeah, he knows. Mm-hmm. He, I think because also of the work he does, he's aware of yeah. the impact of certain things that happened to me and how they affect me now, okay. you know? And he's able to say, 
I'm, 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 I can be very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And I want somebody to, in my vulnerable state, allow me to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Allow me to be me. Don't try and box me and say, hey, and tell skala, me what to do at this point. Like even if we're talking something and like it touches me, I'll cry. And he won't even say, you know, he you'll just understand the way. I'm letting out what is in my spirit. Even when we pray, I will cry and he'll be like, okay. At the beginning it was like, <laughs> it's like okay, come down. <laughs> when I'm busy, oh. <laughs> he'll be like, okay. And then he understood the way. This is the person. Yeah. Worship. Tatu. Worship before, because I was a PK, PK it was a norm. It wasn't okay. okay. I was doing it because I understood what I was doing. Yeah. I was doing worship because I can sing. Yeah. And it was fun. Like, every Friday you go to Riazal with your friends, Lava Palalabina, you know, Khubastut, Khubastut, and then you go home. That was me before, when I was younger. And I think because of the separation with my parents, they actually helped me to realize, okay, I'm playing. Worship is an encounter. Yeah, I it's was playing encounter. before. Even though I would sing and God would use me, mm. but I wouldn't be any different. Okay. I would sing, yes, and you, you'll see the church, and at that time you'll be like, oh, wow, can I link you to us? You know, and mm. you like boast about it. Mm. But then the separation happened and we had to start life again. Then there was a period where my mom wasn't attending church. She wasn't, she was just like, I'm, I'm in pain. my healing. Mm -hmm. I need to heal first. And in that time, that was the time for me to sit with her and enjoy just being at home. I am pizza happy, that thing that I said when I was here in Jewel. I'm pizza happy, hey, go look for a church. Yo, that's where I was born again. And that's at that time, time, I think I was... Again. 19, over 16, 17, okay, 16, no, maybe we're going into 18, 19. Yeah. That's when I realized, okay, ah, uh ah, -uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I get to boom deem. So your rebirth started then? Yes. And your encounter with the Holy Spirit and your journey? It began As a through that, through, okay, the through the worship phase, but it didn't come all at once. It came, you know, man, at that age, you still want to play, yeah. you still want to experienced life. Mm. So it went on, you'll see here, okay, here I need to change, here I need to do this, but you wouldn't listen. And then when I moved to Joburg, it got worse, this thing. And then it's like, I want to be that girl. I want to be... Ordinary. Yes, like mm. I don't want to have that thing, you know, the minute you have that they title. They give us those names. And another thing I would come back about Taba, regular So, Shab moved to Joburg. I think this is where, when I moved here, I was ready. And also meeting my husband also just made me realize, okay, ah, uh, Tato, you, you, you can sing. Everybody can sing. So many people can sing, but. How be now? What are you transferring? It came to that. Okay, what am I transferring to you? Am I living what I'm singing? Am I understanding what I'm singing? Am I, am I in touch with God to the point that I can I need anything else when I'm in church? I had to get to that. Or when I'm in prayer, I had to get there. All along, it was vibes. <laughs> it was going to church for fun. So you started writing and recording. How Your did that writing come about? was way back because yeah. when we were younger, you know, like the studio, the home yeah. studio, got the big room with our yes, friends, yes. and it gets at the house songs. I did the thing, little more YouTube, the thing, <laughs> go, 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 songs, <laughs> the thing, and we'd like fool around and we'd end up, and I'm like, wow, this is a song. And they're like, yeah, just put words together. That's how I started getting Pinata House. Oh, well, baby, you love me. What, what? My LOV, only Pinari, my LOV. And then as we were going, welcome people sing. Welcome. Definitely. Free state, actually. Let me say. Oh, people Free sing. Free state, people sing. Ne? I go home and I'm always like, I always have that thing. I wish I could take you so you can be in a place that exposes you. Hmm. Because the talent there. Yes. So when we were growing, we were growing, we were growing. 
go tla be le hore e di worship team di ya kopana go ba le youth le lo bina mo then i started this thing of no man why am i not writing my own songs why are you talking of feeling we need the same song wa halalela and you know like get the concert everybody like comes like ifuna nangu mthoko zisi you don't play certain songs because the next DJ is going to play certain songs. And that's what we do as gospel artists. So I got to the point where I was like, hey, man, when they invite me, work, Sabini, my own songs. Like, I want to sing my own songs. Then I started writing songs. My brother would help me, okay, melody-wise. And that's where it went. Wrote my first song. And when I sang it at a concert, I don't even remember which concert it was, but I remember the feeling I got. Well, this is what you must do. Yeah. It's great to sing other people's songs, but what are your words? What is yeah. God putting in your spirit? Because now I can just, now I can come up, God will drop something, you can say something, destiny, and I can put together something for destiny. Mm. And we sing it, and you know it. I once created a song at church, Chenaka Worship, and people were singing, and I was like, this is what I must do. This is what I must do. Now, you are coordinating the youth club. You are doing your your artistries and like the acting space. You said it's, it's still difficult to enter the space. Why is it difficult? Do it's you think? For Eric Bue, for na, it's yeah. for yeah. For na, before they would say, as a plus size woman, your opportunities are limited, yeah. right? Before, yeah. Now. We are oversaturated. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. And um, the painful thing about our industry, as much as we are plus size, maybe we five for a plus size, but looks matter, right? There's a specific look they're looking for. There's a specific feel they're looking for. So you can never be everything to everyone. Yeah. So the painful part comes where you feel, Jorge, I can get this role. Yes. Then you see, then you see it on YouTube or somewhere, and you're like, "Oh, this is what they wanted." Yeah. Then you're like, "But I can't be that." You know, this, these are the armors. This is the skills I have, and this is all I can give. It had to move because now you have to deal with uh, rejection. I wonder if it's a rejection already as a young black woman who's. I became plus size when I met my husband. <laughs> I was in plus size all along. But you know, you were not you plus know, size all along. No, man, I lost weight. There was so, a time so, where so I was flourishing. <laughs> I blame him. <laughs> but he's happy. As long as he's happy, I'm good. So it went to, okay, fine, you get into this industry. Um, now you have to learn all along, you are not the conventional beauty, you're not the conventional. A girl, the it girl in school. Mm -hmm. So all along, you've experienced rejection. You've experienced the yeah. I'm free. For what you want that? You like? But oh. it didn't just save you. The thing. It F did. From a whole lot. But up. it also breaks you, because you compare with the next. Like you're always like, but why never say? You know, like when you're out with your friends and they don't. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful. I know, but I, before I didn't know. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. <laughs> but when you're younger, you don't see that. You only see it when you're older. When I was younger, they would tease me about my small nose. And now I'm like, I love this nose. I don't need to contour. I don't need, it matches what's happening here. It should be this small. If it was bigger, I would look weird. So it comes there and then you come now. Okay, you've worked through that. Then you're in this industry where it's rejection, rejection, rejection. And then when you get that one advert or one thing that you're doing, for you, it's everything. Mm. You know, like people just see that one thing and they're like, yo, give me a little TV. They don't know how, or how many, they don't know how many it notes you got. They don't know how many times you were called back by a client. Mm. And then when you are just at the door, but no, it's not the, the look we're looking for. So it's always like the look or... Yeah, there's something else we're looking for, Bobo. So when it got there, it's like your head. I had to relearn now to say, it's not me. So, um, how were you dealing, or rather, how what were you dealing with the rejection getting now home? Because the same emotions mm. that break you, obviously, cloud mm. how you feel go high. And it, you know, how did your husband take it? 
in my personal capacity now as a yeah. wife going through as a that. Wife, yeah. I think with with you know, with Ntete Makubeli, he affirms me. Like he, I've never felt I'm not enough with him. So it's never a thing of like if you can't do, I still harbor that. But I've taught myself for it. Audition, forget. Okay. Audition, forget. Okay. And I think it's a it's a coping mechanism that I've learned from when I was younger. Okay. Because a lot of the things that are painful or that have happened to me, I can't remember them. I can't remember them. I'm like, one, two, three, four. Oh, yes. And then it will come back. But naturally, I've taught myself that. And then I had to apply it to even acting. I can do a script with you now and we shoot. I won't remember the script tomorrow. I've moved on. Okay. Even with people. Okay. You hurt me or we... Something happens and I feel like I don't need that in my heart anymore. I forget and I move on. I think it's, I don't know, it helps to some extent. Those psychologists won't agree. They want us to go to the childhood traumas and whatever. We do need to. Do. I did do that. I did, um, when my stepfather passed away, um, Leafy, we were very close with him. So my mom remarried and she was married to Leafy. I called him Leafy, can't that him Leafy? <laughs> but he was my Leafy. Yeah. And he passed away. So when he passed away, I was so triggered. It was like, yes. ooh, I yes. It was like, you know when you've lost something before and then you get it again? Mm. And you, and you this get one, it in, this time, in a, it's a lifetime. And now you get it in a sense that's different to before. And it's mm. kinder. And it's he was, ooh, he was everything to me. Mm. And when he passed, it was like, wow, that don't you. Ooh, you're taking that, that from that me. From the first one that I lost. Because I was a daddy's girl. And then I lost that. You do look like one. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I was, like I was listen, a daddy's girl, core and core. That was my person. To the point where I felt to re, hey, miwaka. You know, like when you're growing up, you like, oh, oh this lady. No, 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 <laughs> Can't you? to always like this because of what she's going through. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Leafy got sick. Yes. So no, he not he got sick. He he was struggling with anemia. Okay. Yeah, for a very long time, mm-hmm. and it was something that we knew and we were able to manage with him. And then he would go mm-hmm. So that time, I think it was during COVID. You know, like COVID was yeah. just another just thing. Just took a lot of lives. But I think also the care was lacking. So you were not priority. Because when he went for blood, there was no blood. He's like, okay, day one, we're waiting for blood. Day two, still no blood. And they already knew he was coming. So there was no blood. Maybe the focus was somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So the blood was not there for him. And by the grace of God, I say God again, the weekend before he passed, we were at home. Yes, yeah. And he wasn't okay. I do see bad things. We have fun. Like when we were together, we have fun. We talk, we play, we all of these things. And he was just sitting there watching us, laughing as we would laugh and laugh. Mm-hmm. And then when he left in the morning, they were going to a funeral. And he was like, to me, let's have my hand. Phone. I, the next few days, my sister and I, we going to TV. Let's say the browse and whatever. Ah, we get the call. We go Gandhi Square. Get the call. My mom is like, hey. And you know, like when you're not expecting someone to pass, I think it's even more shocking because mm-hmm. he was okay. Yeah. We he, Even though he wasn't cool because of the blood situation, but it wasn't totally, we've never experienced this. It was yeah. like, ah, he's just going to go to hospital, come back, you know. So I was worried. No, there was no blood. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it, never, it came. I think they gave him blood, but it was too late. If if he, if he you had an opportunity now, because I get it, how many years since has he passed? 20, I think it was 2020, if I'm wrong, or 2020. Yeah, because COVID was 2020. He <laughs> 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 stress at that part. But if you had an opportunity to say something to him, say he was alive, what would you have said? I'm glad I've said the things I wanted to say to him. Ah, I'm glad I did. I, I'm holding nothing because even now with my family, with my friends, I tell you, 
I tell you as we go, mm. thank you for taking care of me. Thank mm. you for this. So for me, I feel Leafy was not perfect. Mm. Other people can say different about him, but I experienced him as, as, a, father. as a father. And I wanted to, like for him, I always have that thing to say, thank you for giving me that experience I was lacking for so many years. And you gave it to me, Usafosta. Yeah, and the beauty of it is that now you're not looking for it in your husband. No, no, no. Your husband is your husband. Kishab. <laughs> He's my husband. He's not my father. Yeah. Kishab. So, yeah, that's the way it went. And, yeah, I'm okay. Um, I had to go for counseling after that because it triggered a lot when he passed. The things I thought I forgot, it just brought them oh, up. Hence the childhood traumas. Hence you say you yes. are supporting psychologists saying we must go through we must yeah because if you don't human. how do you heal mm. how do you because Fool. Olga now i was triggered by his death yeah. if i was okay i wouldn't be triggered mm. i would have just dealt with the grief and then moved on so the grief now became prolonged mm. because now it was now attaching itself to things that i haven't deal, dealt with yeah. and my husband is like we need to get you help as much as I can talk to you and what and what, but we need to get got a stranger. And what what's It's like all of a sudden you remember everything. Your body, because your body keeps count. The minute you like now I'm talking about Leafy. I'm talking about my husband. Joy comes. I'm talking about Leafy. I cry. <laughs> you know, it's like those little things that just remind you in your body. Okay, this actually happened. Mm. You can think you forget, but it's there. And you have to deal with it. So now, Tato, people are trying their best to get into the space. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it can be music, mm. acting in the space that you are in. Both the choices that you made are quite difficult to enter into. And Motudu Tsimole, when you are actually, everyone else looking at you is like, this person is always joyous. This mm. person is actually making it. Mm. It's from afar. Uh, what would you say to that person? Udu hi. Um, I probably even this morning thinking waking is not worth waking up. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I've been there. I've judged myself according to what others are doing until and your I peer got successes, yeah. hey until I got into the industry and I was like, but why? Why? Why do I feel the need? Like now, I don't have the pressure I, that I have to be on something. I have to be on a show. I have to do this. I have to sing. I have to beg whoever. Do it at my pace. But it takes you understanding, Ori. It's not all glam. It's not all glitz. Mm. People are not happy. They're on screen. They are the most horrible people to be around. Ne? Mm. They are beautiful people in our industry. But they are not happy, which is what I have. I have joy. Whether or not you book me, you don't book me. Mm. It, it can be painful, yes, in that moment, but I move on. Yeah. So it takes you getting to the point to say, this, for me, is important, but it's not the end, even if it doesn't go the way. Mm -hmm. There are people who are singing, right, who are songwriters. They're where I want to be. I want to have my own album. I want to have a live recording. I want to want, yeah. want, want, want. They have that, right? Mm -hmm. But I can't compare my journey with theirs. My journey is different. Yeah. I was watching this, like, snippets of Celine Dion's life, and I was just touched by... I love it too. You, I like, don't know how many times I watched it. Oh, I need to go watch the documentary. But it mm -hmm. makes sense to me, right? Especially now when she's sick. And I look at it, I'm like, cool. At this age, somebody else is getting their breakthrough. Amen. At this age, she mm -hmm. is having to slow down yeah. because of life. Yeah. And I look at my mom. My mom is an example of that. At her age now, she's flourishing. Yet mm -hmm. all the years, kwa. Mm. That's where I got this thing for. The influence for to sell clothing. Uh, hey. yeah. My mom is that person. Even now she runs, she has an old age home that is self-funded. She runs her own businesses. Poor hole. She comes with her machine. Ganda ganda machine. She does that for you. So she let go of teaching? She retired last year. Okay. Yeah, she was like, hey, I've done my part in society. Yeah. I need to now focus on myself. Okay. And God has just elevated those businesses and all of that that she's doing. So when I look at that and then I'm like, mama is an example. It might not happen now. Mm. 
it might not. And it might not happen the way I want it to happen. Mm. Because the way I want it, it doesn't have the covering of God. Okay. With God's covering, it comes as Sheba. You'll even be shocked. I remember when I got my first advert. It was a Africa for the whole of Africa. I think it was DSTV. It was playing in all the countries in Africa. Mm-hmm. And in my scene, I was like, hmm. It was just, ha, 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 I'm singing, and then it's done. Yeah. But when I saw that advert, I was so convinced, even today, you can't tell me different, that God is faithful. Amen. God is so faithful. When I went for that advert, the audition, it was one of the many. To the moment where you're just like, ah, let me just go. You never know, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then you get called back and you're like, Okay, was this what I was preparing for? Like, you were preparing me for this. Because that advert, I had to laugh, which is what I do naturally. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, so say, you got that. I got that role. Yeah. And I was just laughing. And when I would laugh, like, I'm sure that's all. Most studio people, they don't pay attention to what you're doing. They're doing their job. But when I would laugh, the whole room would laugh with me. To the point where they were like, Let's record. <laughs> Let's record her <laughs> laugh. And then you laugh after. Yeah. And it wasn't a matter of I was acting. In that one, I wasn't acting. I was Naturally. just giving God that glory. Because, wow. DSTV, mm-hmm. Mina. Yeah. And then they came and they came and they came. And people recognized me and I'm like, oh, I don't even know how to react. And people are like, hey, I've seen you go eat TV. I've seen you yeah. go. Get... Just like, oh, this is overwhelming because it's not how I thought it would be. And it's much better now because I'm grounded. Now. I have a husband. Now I'm not doing it for fame. I'm doing it to build hack. Yeah. I'm yeah. doing it to build a hamakurel. Yeah. I'm doing yeah. it to say, Kanya must have a better future than me. Yeah. You know, now yeah. it's different. Now it's like when you get, because when you, these ads, they pay mm. very well. They pay very well. Acting does pay if you get a right agent and you do things the right way. Yeah. So when they come, now I'm no, I'm not weeds, and I love beauty. I love clothes. That's why I had to open a clothing business. Cause mm. I got so mm. now I have an excuse. At least I know I get profit. I buy with profit, you yeah. know. And, but it works for me. Yeah. It fills that cup that I need, and it goes like that. Okay, right now, it seems dark. I've been there. It seems like your friends are making it, mm. and you're not. And you're not. But you don't know what they did, what they're going through to be where they are. Yeah. So I know I don't wait on God because when God gives it to you, it comes with peace. When God gives it His to you. His blessings come with riches. Yes. And they add no sorrow to them. Nothing. It, f- it feels, it aligns. Like everything just goes, oh, okay, I have this, I have this shoot, but at work I have this. And then it just works out. The shoot dates don't clash with this. This doesn't clash with this, you know? Yeah. Because it's it's God leading it, not you. So, you know, I think hands are working to fit and tower. What are the conversations you're having with God, Tato? Right now, yeah, they're so different. Season. Yeah, they're so yeah. different. In this season, I'm asking God for wisdom. Okay. I think with my age growing and with my family growing, I'm at a point where, except. I don't care about a lot of things yeah. that don't serve me. Like right now, I don't. You saw even with my reply to you, I'm like, oh, thank you. You went to the point, yeah. you know, and this was what you told me and this serves what I want, right? And God has just brought, God brought you to me. Yes. Not me. And Linda, my interest in you literally had nothing to, God, I was not researching on anything oh, specific. Oh, oh, this oh, oh, person. Or looking mm. for something specific. Mm. You came up and I liked mm. what I saw. I went to your page, mm. looked, 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 and I'm like, this resonates with what mm. I'm about, you know, spiritual uh, upliftment, mm. um, motivation, mm. growth, mm. edutainment, and et cetera. And yeah, there we are. And that's how I get most of my MC work. The way you yeah. got me, yeah. most of the clients, I don't know them personally. Yeah. But they see what I'm putting out there, yeah. and it's authentic. I think that's where I'm asking God. Yes. I want to be me. I don't yeah. want to be a cut, copy, paste. I don't yeah, want to be else. trying. Like even last this morning when I was still working, I was watching your channel and I was watching another podcast, and the person speaking there was just like, "Why are we hunt? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know, like that was my thing. Like, why are we waiting? I get it. There's that thing as a celebrity. 
persona that you want yeah, to be. As a celebrity, see. you must be this way. You must speak this way. You must. For me, I was just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> let me cut this. Yeah. I even stopped watching it because it didn't feel horry. I'm experiencing you. What's the scripture that speaks to you in this season? Your way. Most? So you've addressed a couple of things like patience, yeah. like a wanting, you know, just the patience, mm. you know, waiting on God and understanding the process, trusting God for, you know, but what's the, what, what's speaking to you in this season? You're asking him for wisdom. Mm. And, you know, scripture? let me tell you, I have one scripture. I don't change, that one doesn't change, is, um, King, I'm going to paraphrase when the, t- when the time is right. When the Lord, uh, hey, hey, yeah. thank you. When the Lord decides, yeah. because even my name says that. Mm, it's not love. Mm. My name is not love. My name is the will of God. Mm. That is my name. And even with my son's name, the glory of God, those are things that I'm saying to, to me. Yeah. Yeah. They live in me. Mm. And uh, if I'm here with you, just know God wants me to be here. If not, and I'm learning that also, to yeah, listen okay. to God and say, this doesn't serve you. This is not good for where you're going. Leave that. So when the Lord says yes, it's a yes without any con- any conclusion. Like yeah. It's yes and then it goes. We are moving. Uh-huh. Mm. Like I used to be. And mm. it, that's the one thing I'm carrying with God, even when I'm asking for wisdom. I'm asking it, let it be wisdom that's going to serve the ministry he has within mm-hmm. me, within my family, within the church I'm based at. Let it serve, because there I'm leading people. Mm-hmm. And my nine to five helps me to lead these people mm-hmm. because I'm learning so much from my job. Yeah. In the church I'm, be, I'm using that. And then, mm-hmm. because most of the time church we treat it as, ah, yeah. you don't I plan, you don't prepare. You don't be formalized. You don't know the things. And the churches that are growing are churches that are actually saying, this is what we're doing. Yeah. This is structure. our vision. It, structure. Mm. So when you put structure in a team that's not used to structure, there's a lot of fights. There's a lot of Why? resistance. Like worship I worship team. I but all right, mm. I enjoy it. As painful as it may be, sometimes I go home and I cry and I'm like, <laughs> why am I doing this? Why are you bored? No, like, let's continue. Do not no, I won't. As yeah. much as sometimes good glory. <laughs> so there's people Tato, who are saying, what have you trusted God for and God delivered? The life I'm living. Yes. I don't the wanna... life that you're living. No. I wanna, when I'm, I say all the time, guys, in Pilim Pilo that I yes. prayed for. Yes. Well, my mom also, I thank God for her. Mm. I believe that I'm living the life that I, I'm mm. living now because my mom prayed a lot yes. for me. And mm. it's simply because she went through a lot that she never wanted me to go through. Mm. So we can, I can resonate to your story, but because Absolutely. it's not about me today, mm. uh, you would interview me next time. In fact, tell you, I would love to. I want to do it. Yes. I want to do it. Yeah, you'll sit here. I would and love sit to here. hear your journey. No, you're welcome. Mm. I hope you are. Production, please. My host. Uh, <laughs> on the time next. For the day, day, day. <laughs> I'm here. Call me. Yes. Yeah. Um, then because you, you know what about happens. My journey. Let me tell you what happens, and I see it with a lot of my friends. In in the life you're living now, like even with me, not everything's perfect. Not no. everything is going the it's way not. I want it to go. But I, I write attack. down the things that I'm grateful for. Yeah. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for my child. I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for the people who hire me. They don't know me. Mm. I'm great. Those things alone, they just remind me, Jorge, wow, you are in the season. Forget about the other things that will come, Mm. but you are in the season you prayed for. Did you not ask for stability? God gave it to you. Did you not ask for Kanye to have a life you're not living? Mm. He's living the life I I wished to live, where you have a father who supports you, a father who will move mountains for you. I prayed for that. Even if I wasn't intentional. You know that thing, 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 you just pray. <laughs> you were not intentional about it because you were younger. You didn't understand yeah. the power that you hold here. Yeah. So even now, for everybody who's feeling that way, I know it seems, you know, it seems like humanity tato abua. Yes, tato abua, but Tato is, knows why she's saying that. And when people say it doesn't, the rain doesn't last forever, it's the truth. Yeah. Because 
I want to feel summery. I want to feel hot. I want and to feel you're, this. And you are doing it for me. Thank you. This is from my boutique. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but Tato, I am totally in love with your confidence and the you know the jam that you have. You you mm. you are a total vibe and you are an MC. You have a boutique of your own. Please tell the viewers. Rotola like I. Uh so you can get me on Facebook. Uh -huh. It's at Tato's online boutique. Tato is my nickname. Um, yeah, it's just an online boutique. You can get me on the number there. That's on WhatsApp. Um, if you need something. And then for MCing, you can even text me on the same number that's there on my boutique. Or you can email me. My email's on my TikTok and also on my Instagram. I should add it on Facebook. Please call it yeah. out. So that's my my names on Instagram. Give me Tato Tato underscore M on TikTok. Tato underscore Tato underscore M. Hey, do you know that? And then Facebook, Tato Tato Akani Makubele. Yeah. That is me. Um, and yeah, I'm open for all things. God knows. Yeah. I'm open for anything and he brings them. Yeah. The right people, he brings them. So book me. Zing, zing, zing. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Manyolo at La Pella now. Yes, it's we are moving season. into the wedding season, so book me now. And it's all said I'm sitting with my competitor. Mo. Kapaki, wow. Ko, ki, ki sister, sister. Ratusa, <laughs> never been available. I'll call you. Don't Please worry. Do. No, I'm that person. I plug people. So that, that's also part of what God blesses me with. Yeah. If I'm not able to do something, I'll never hold it and yeah. say it's mine. Yeah. You know? If I'm if I say, okay, great, you can't meet my rate or something, I'm not available. Here's somebody you can talk to. Definitely. Always. God blesses that. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's my gift too, in terms of spreading the love and giving uh, what I have mm. uh, in terms of contact or connections mm. and whatnot. Nonetheless, we are here. Tato has spoken her heart and she has shared a part of her journey. And I hope someone that's sitting there needing encouragement, you got her message. It's not the end of the world when things are not working out in this season, it will work out. Mm. We are Unlock with Tando, Gama Omeda. Please share, like, subscribe, mm. and and share with your friends. <laughs> Tell them we exist. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs>